How's it going YouTube? So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my wildlife photography, what I use, a couple of little simple tips to get you out there and actually shoot for the beginners. And like I said, just let you know the, a little bit of fundamentals about what's going on about wildlife photography. Let's start with my camera setup. So I use the Nikon D800. It's a very good camera, very good workhorse, not 36.6 megapixels. Um, and all in all, it's, it's a very good camera. It's an older camera, probably about getting close to 10 years old. I believe it was 2012 that it was introduced and released through Nikon. Um, it is an older camera, like I said, but 36.6 megapixels is nothing to sneeze about. It's a very good camera been very reliable you can get one for fairly cheap nowadays and all that it's a full frame camera not crop sensor but that's the camera that I use now let's talk about the lens that I use the lens is the Nikon 200 to 500 millimeter 5.6 for that constant aperture for that wide range of distance it's very very sharp believe it or not it does good for portrait sport or wildlife but I use it for wildlife mostly but it's been a very good camera. There's two different modes on here for the VR. There's sport and normal. It works very good for video as well. The VR is crazy good on it. The bokeh is very sharp on it. It's been a very good lens. Very good lens for roughly about $1,500 you can get it used. I've seen it for about a thousand. Another must item that you're gonna wanna have is a monopod. A monopod will come in huge use when you're out there in the field when you don't want to pack a heavy tripod it's very good I don't have the best of one but it's not a bad one it's from faux pics it's carbon fiber um, it, it has a two-in-one it's basically a tripod and a mon monopod that you can turn it into but it's been very good to me it's very light I had no issues so far with it a little bit of sand but other than a tiny bit of wear and tear, it's been a very good monopod, but this is something that you would definitely want to get. Now for a couple little tips. One of the biggest tips I can tell a beginner that wants to get into wildlife photography or any photography in general is first off, do not compare your photos to anybody else. Make your photos your own. You will improve when you just get out there and start taking photos and that's one of the best things that you can do. One of the other things that you can do is Start off small to build your encouragement. Go out in your backyard, look for some random birds, go out to your local nature center or any hiking areas that you might want to go to. There's plenty of wildlife out there. Just go there when you, you know, early morning hours, maybe sunset. You know, you'll see a lot of wildlife, especially around water. You'll get a lot of shorebirds or anything like that in a lake. But it's something that you could definitely do to get started. And whether you're using a phone, a DSLR, mirrorless, you got to start somewhere. So don't have an excuse that you don't have a camera. Just get out there and explore. That's one of the biggest things that people forget about is going out there and just exploring and having a good time. Another beginner tip that I can give you is to get some of the sharpest images, try and work on your single shot focus and focus more of an eye of an animal and get on the same level. Try and crouch down, get into some bushes, even if you have to, I know it may look weird, but even if you have to lay on the ground, some of the best things you could do is just getting straight on, get those eyeballs nice and sharp, get them tack sharp, whether you're shooting in autofocus or manual focus, it will work. Um, your cameras normally have tracking, so you could check your menu settings for that, but just make sure you get on the lower level. You don't want to shoot too high on the you from a higher view because you're not going to get straight on. If you shoot from the bottom, you're going to get the underbelly underexposed and things like that because the sun's coming from the top. Those are just a couple tips that I'm going to give you for now. So I'm going to make another video later talking more about settings and your menu bank and all that that you can use, something that will help. But this is one of the images that I took. It's a green monkey from the San Diego Zoo. 
Um, the images come out very sharp. Again, you just gotta keep in mind the right lighting that you have, the right settings, you know, make sure you're shooting for those eyeballs, get them nice and sharp. Because if the image is sharp on the eyeballs and you're shooting more on, I wanna say like F11, F13, you're gonna get your images nice and sharp. Here's another image from a brown pelican out in La Jolla, California. That's, I'm from San Diego, born and raised, so there's a lot of wildlife out in La Jolla that you could shoot. But this is just another image that I got out there. Um, there's so many things you could shoot out there from pelicans, seagulls, pigeons, comrades, seals, sharks. We have just about everything out there that you can name. So for those of you that want to know more, please feel free to either comment in the comments message me um, on Instagram you can DM me do not be afraid to ask questions I'm more than happy to help you so if there's something that you got out of this I'm really glad just let me know and like I said there will be more videos to come thank you again I really hope you guys all have a wonderful day